This takes a look at asset classes. And so we're talking here about treasury bills, which are three months, six month treasuries, corporate, bi corporate bills, long term US treasury bonds, US stocks and gold between 1928 and today. This is measuring the average annual return here up and down. And right to left is taking a look at volatility called standard deviation. What I want to highlight is if you take a look at treasury bills and inflation, you're talking about a three, three and a half percent inflation rate for a lot of that time. Treasury bills, you've made a little bit more and there hasn't been a lot of volatility. As you work your way right to left, that's the amount of volatility. We'll take a look at U.S. stocks. You've have about a 12 percent average rate of return in that time. And there's been about a 20% standard deviation. That means there are some real volatility. The phrase we use is volatility is the price of admission for the kind of returns that stocks can give you. You're going to have times where the stock market has precipitous falls, but you make a lot of money in the long run. We'll take a look at gold. It's been even more volatile than the stock market, despite the fact the average rate of return has been just about half of what stocks have been. So listen, in general, you don't want to take on more risk for something that generally gives you half the return over the long run. It's about knowing the reason you want to own gold. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people who bought gold thinking it's something that is not.